Hello everybody, how's it going? Jonathan here with Automate with Jonathan. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the title of any WordPress page or really any page and uh, and take that title stored in a variable and print it out if you want to. Uh, so let's get right into it. And also, if you like this video and you want to share it with others, please hit the like button or drop me a thanks in the comments. I'd appreciate it. So we have our Python script here. Here are all of our imports. Um, this one keys is not being used, but web driver by options and service. Those are our, our libraries we're using. Um, we have another tutorial on, on how to basically set up a simple program in, in Selenium. If you want that, it's in the description below. Anyway, so let's say we have all that set up, uh, and we have a specific web page that we would like to grab the, uh, post title from in WordPress. Here's an example from my website here. Uh, and this is just a blog post I wrote not terribly long ago called The World's Most Dangerous Roads on Motorcycle. Uh, and here's the title. And we wanna grab this title and print it out in our Selenium script. How do we do that? Well, we right click it and we inspect it. This doesn't, uh, sometimes that doesn't bring it up specifically. So what we do is we just click inspect again. And there we have it. The name of this class, this class name is post-title. It's important, remember that. So we're gonna get the text from class dash, or a post-title. So we get the web page here. This is the first line of code. That gets the web page. I just put these sleeps in here just for illustrative purposes. This is for diagnostics, starting the driver. These two are not needed, but they're helpful. Um, content equals driver dot find element. So we're gonna grab this element by class name. And the class name I've already put in there is post title. So we're gonna to go to this web page and grab the post title element. And then we're gonna print that. And this isn't going to work and I'm gonna tell you why. This is a mistake people commonly make. So let's just run this and I'm gonna show you it not working and I'm gonna show you how to fix it. I don't want you to run into the same issue. So yeah, it loads the page, this is all automated. And this is what it returns. It returns like the um, the parent, like the, the information about the element. So within that element is a whole bunch of information. So we, we, could, we could click that element. There's things that we can do, right? So what I want to do is I want to print out the text from that element. So let's rerun this by add, and we'll add content.text to our, to our uh, variable name. And now here we have it, world's most dangerous roads, right? So if we wanted to store that in a variable, you know, we would just do some variable equals content.text and then print some underscore variable. Easy enough, that would yield the exact same result. Uh, yeah, let's, let's show you it here. There you go, same result. So yeah, it, in summary, you, you load your web page, you uh, get the class name, you do content equals driver dot find element by dot class name, and then you insert the class name, and then you uh, take that variable, which we called content, and you, and you access the text, the dot text method uh, in there. And that's all there is to it. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please hit the like button. If you have any questions or suggestions on how to make it better, if I talk too fast, uh, let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.